All right, today we are learning everything you'll need for starter locks. It's not a bunch of stuff. It just might look like it. Come on, I'm going to show you though. Okay, we have everything laid out. Let's start off with a wide tooth rat tail comb. This is perfect for when you're starting locks to comb through all that natural curly hair. Or maybe their hair isn't curly, but it's always nice to have a wide tooth comb. So you can just get through, you can detangle easily, you can part easily. Also with this comb too, it's just another option as far as parting out the sections. Just like that wide tooth comb, there's a rat tail end on both of these. These two combs here, um, these are tapered combs. They both are what you'll typically use for um, starter locks to actually coil the hair itself. They're both the same. This one here just has the handle on the end, but you can see how it tapers off at the top. It just gives you like a better angle to get in there and really comb coil um, each of those sections that you're doing, okay? So those two say they, they serve the same purpose, okay? So moving along, we have our lock and twist gel. I love this stuff. Um... It's real creamy. It's very inexpensive. I, it's about $5.99 at most um, beauty supplies. You can find it in Walmart. Um, this is perfect for starter locks, okay? I'm going to show you what it looks like. Like I said, it's super creamy. Um, it's perfect. It's not heavy, and, and that's what you want. You want something light but still um, a gel so once it actually dries... It'll be able to keep those locks kind of where you want it, but it still won't make it heavy in the hair. There you go. It's nice and creamy. So it's, it's easy to work with, okay? So that's perfect for starter locks. This here is lock-in. Now, this this ain't no joke right here. This my go-to. You can, you can braid with this too. But for starter locks, I only use this at the base. Only at the base. It's $29.99. It's worth the price, though. This jar, um, it's 16 ounces. You will just take a look because I, I, y'all can see I've, I've been using it. Okay, it's very tacky. So I say I use this at the at the base of locks and braids and stuff, um, just to keep the hairs in place. But I don't use it down the um the loose end of a lock when i'm doing starter locks because it's just way too heavy and the curl won't it won't be able to bounce back you see that that's not even coming off the comb barely but that's what you want when you want some firm product lock in okay only for the base so next here is the mist spray bottle this is perfect it sprays out just enough water you won't have like a soaking wet head. Do you see that? That's all you need when you're starting locks. Just spray a little. Ch -ch. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the chair right here. It um, it sprays out just enough, but it it doesn't saturate the hair. But you see, it still it still is a lot of moisture there, so that's perfect. Right here, we have whipped essential oils. Every oil you need to for is perfect for starter locks, okay? All this, I'll link it down below, okay? All the essential oils, you have black castor oil, um, tea tree oil, peppermint, um, jojoba, lemongrass. All the ingredients are there. Any questions, hit me up below in the comment section. Make sure you got a hair tie or two or three. And make sure you have some clips. Crocodile clips are perfect for holding, like, a lot of hair. Um, they kind of bend and clasp whatever you need it to. So if it's a lot of hair, it's not hard for them to hold on to it. That's what makes those perfect. And then you have your little silver clips here. These are two-prong clips. This is what you will need to after every comb coil, after every twist that you do, every lock that you start. 
But even when you're doing retwists, you want some of these. Um, these are two prong clips, but you can use. Um, there's other different silver clips. Okay, these will hold them in place until your locks dry. You need them. Okay, but that's that's it. That's all you need right there. These are all the essentials for starting locks. Please comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.